Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer and welcome to another five minute tutorial in Photoshop where I show you some of my secrets and tips and techniques on how I uh, use Photoshop to create some really cool and interesting artwork. So this one's probably gonna be a little bit more than five minutes, uh, but I hope that you still enjoy this tutorial. If you do want more in depth and longer tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account uh, where I have uh, several tutorials. I think I have over 20 now uh, these are hours and hours long. All of the PSD files and the stock images are included, and so be, be sure to check that out. I'll make sure that there is a link in the, the description below, and uh, you can check these out if you want additional Photoshop training. But what we're going to do today is we're going to be uh, taking this image right here, and we're going to be using Photoshop tools to remove the bike from this image and uh, we only have the biker remaining. And so I wanna show you how to do that. It's a really fun, fun um, uh, type of uh, editing that we can do. A lot of people have tried this before and I wanna show you how to do it as well. The first thing that I've done, even before we start this tutorial, is I've already went and uh, cut out this uh, biker. So he is completely on his uh, own layer. And so I've got him already cut out and uh, he is good to go on his own layer. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work uh, primarily on this background layer and uh, try to remove this bike uh, the best that we can. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. And we're gonna do this in pieces. We're not gonna try to do this all at one time. But I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool for most of this. So go ahead and grab your clone stamp tool and uh, we're gonna make our uh, size uh, fairly large, maybe four or 500. And what we want to do is we want to start painting the background where the bike is at. So luckily at this picture, the background is uh, pretty easy. It's pretty uh, uh, easy to clone. We have the road and we have the grass and they're pretty much uh, all look the same. So this is gonna be a pretty easy one to do. So what we want to do is grab your clone stamp tool and I'm going to just go ahead and uh, hit my alt key on the keyboard and click about right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna follow this plane, follow this little line here in the road, and I'm just gonna start painting. Um, I'm just gonna start painting over this, uh, this wheel right here. I'm just gonna start with this part of the, uh, the image. And... I'm not going to go too far because if I go too far, it's going to start painting that bike again. So we're going to do it about right there. I think that looks fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and we're going to try this again. So I'm going to hold Alt right here on that line and then make sure you paint out uh, this uh, edge right here that we painted just a second ago. I like to do the hardness at zero and the, uh, the, the size of the brush pretty large. Uh, that way you can uh, have very nice and feathered edges going on here. Let's go ahead and go down to the bottom part. Let's get this little line on here and we want to just follow, follow that track, follow that plane. And that looks pretty good right there. And let's go up here. And what we want to do for this little top part is just get this part of the road and just get rid of that part of the bike there. And then what this is gonna be like is this, essentially you're gonna be painting. You're essentially painting over uh, the, the background in several different steps. I'm gonna change my flow uh, a little bit lower. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm just, I keep sampling part of the background and then painting over top of it. So for example, once we get here to the middle part of the bike, I'm just gonna sample right here. And then I'm just gonna paint that road right there where the bike was at, all the way down here. And then when it starts to mess up and you start painting a little bit too much, we're gonna stop and then we're gonna, gonna reset and do it again. So again, I'm gonna take this part right here of the road and then kind of paint this part underneath the hands and the arms. And so far we've got rid of the first part of the bike. Let's go ahead and keep going. And I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and try to remove this part of the bike. You can see that you know the person, the, the bike rider, is staying there because I've already cut him out. He, he's on his own layer and I'm doing everything underneath this. So if you were to look at uh, this layer, uh, this is what the, this is what our layer looks like, but I've already got the biker cut out and on his own layer. So this, this is really helpful when you do it this way. So continue to hit your Alt key and just a sample part of the, uh, the background and just paint over 
uh, where the bike is at. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, uh, but I do recommend staying on that same plane uh, when you do this, and uh, that's gonna help make everything look a little bit better. So when I go down here to these lines, make sure that you stay in that line, and then we will mat paint this out the best that we can. All right, when we get up here to the top part of this bike, I'm actually gonna go up here to the grass. I'm gonna sample this part of the, uh, the sidewalk that touches the grass, and I'm gonna kinda continue on this line and paint that grass and that road right there. I'm gonna stop when I get about right here because we're starting to paint that bike again. And then just go and just fix uh, the edges that don't look exactly right. Same thing, I'm going to uh, get this sidewalk of the grass and then bring it over here so make sure that line matches up. And then just do this. There we go. You can see that I painted part of this guy right up here, so let's go ahead and work on him. Let's go uh, Alt right here on this grass and then just paint up like that. And now he is gone. All right, let's see how it looks so far. Looks so it looks good. Uh, we do have the edge of the seat that he's sitting on, so let's go ahead and fix that. I'm just gonna do an Alt right here on this little edge of the grass and road and just paint right there. That looks fine. And it looks like it got part of that tarp as well. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna grab this part of the fence and then just go up like this. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, did we get all of the bike? That's the main thing we want to look at. Did we get rid of every part of the bike? We did. Okay, so that was the easy part. Luckily, that was the easy part. Now let me show you how to do the little bit more complicated parts. And again, just like all these tutorials, I would spend a lot more time doing this. I wouldn't rush through it. I would want to get it right. I just wanna show you my process. So first of all, we've got the background removed. That looks good. Uh, there's a, a few little issues down here that we can fix real quick. Uh, but for the most part, it looks good. But here are the other issues. Anytime you want to remove something in Photoshop, like a bicycle uh, or anything that's being obstructed, you're gonna see some issues right here. So we look here, like on this knee, you see that there is uh, part of the bike that is covering up the knee. And then you look at the, uh, the, arm, the uh, I'm sorry, the, the leg right here, the sock, you can see another part of this bike is covering the sock. And then you have part of the wheel is also covering his shoe. And so those are little, those are little issues right there that you have to think about when you look at your original picture. If there's too much that's being obstructed uh, by this object, it's gonna make it a little bit trickier, uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix this real quick. So what we want to do to uh, get rid of this uh, bar of the bike on his knee, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna con uh, control J on the keyboard on the biker image. So that really just makes a copy of the biker image. And that's just because if I mess up, I wanna go back and have a, uh, another copy. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control click this biker copy, control click. Now I have all these marching ants going on. And now what that means is the only thing that I work on is gonna stay in this selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab uh, part of this uh, person's leg, like right there, this this kind of uh, brown color right here, and I'm just gonna paint right here over top of this bar. Make sure you don't go over his other leg though, because that's gonna look a little bit weird. Uh, so make sure that you just paint over where the bar is at, and something like that looks pretty good. If you zoom in, you're gonna see a little bit of uh, issues here, but it, when you're zoomed out, you really can't tell. So that's what it looks like zoomed out, and uh, we've got rid of that. Now let's go down to the sock. Now the sock, this is what I would actually do. I wouldn't try to clone that out. This sock is mostly black, so what I would do is I would just get like a black color and get my brush, my brush tool, and just paint black on this. If you've got a black sock, just paint black on it. You know, don't, don't try to do too much here. Just paint black. Sample the colors uh, on the sock and just paint it, and there you go. Now we have a nice little uh, black sock. We got rid of some of the, you know, the little logos on there, but that, that's perfectly okay. All right, the last thing we want to do, we've got the sock, we got the knee. The last thing we want to do is work on this shoe. So the other shoe is completely obstructed by that wheel, and so that's kind of tricky. And so here is gonna be my technique. I'm going to select his other sock and shoe. I'm just gonna do this right here. I'm gonna copy and paste that, and so now I have that on its own layer. And I'm gonna go up here and just rotate his right shoe, and I'm gonna put it back where his left shoe is. I'm gonna kinda of try to match it up as best as I can. 
Maybe make it just slightly smaller since it's further away from the camera, but not too much smaller. Kind of like that. I'm going to put it right there. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my biker layer. And then, of course, we need to remove uh, that piece of shoe that we had earlier. So let's go ahead and just uh, mask out uh, that part of that shoe right there. There we go. All right, so there we go. Now, um, and let's get rid of that. Let's make sure we get rid of that white little thing right there. Okay, so now we have a shoe right there. Now, of course, this is a right shoe on a left foot, so that looks kind of weird. So this little logo, um, this little gyro logo or whatever, shouldn't be there. So I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and just kind of paint that out. I'm not gonna try to get perfect with it and clone it out or anything like that. I'm just going to take a paintbrush sample some of these colors and just paint it over uh, because the inside of his shoe probably doesn't have that logo. Uh, so that's that's fine right there. I wouldn't get too much you know more detailed than that unless you really want to. All right, so let's zoom out. There we go. Now we have uh, this, this biker is perfectly cut out. He is not on the bike anymore. And uh, we've got all of the issues like his knee and his sock and his shoe. We've taken care of those as well. So the only thing else you want to do, which is probably the hardest part of this whole tutorial, is painting the shadow underneath him. We got rid of that shadow. If you remember, when we look at the original image, you see this shadow right here, it's right underneath him, and this is a shadow of the bike and uh, of himself as well. I'm not gonna try to uh, copy that shadow or anything like that. I'm just gonna create a brand new shadow. I'm gonna get a multiply blend mode and just get a, a nice uh, medium gray color here. And uh, I'm just gonna make a very subtle shadow. I'm not gonna try to uh, do like a perfectly accurate shadow that's you know the, all the shape of his legs and arms and everything like that. I'm just gonna draw a little shadow right under his foot because his foot is the closest to the ground, so it's gonna have the darkest part. And just a little bit of his body shape right here. but not, I'm not trying to be perfect with it. I'm trying to be very subtle with it. And I uh, just wanna make sure that the darkest part of the shadow is right under his foot because that's gonna be the darkest part uh, if this was happening in real life. So something like that I think is okay. You could spend more time on the shadow if you want to and uh, trying to get it perfect, but I think something subtle like that is gonna look fine. Uh, but that's what we've that's what we've accomplished. Here's our before and here's our after. We have removed the bike and uh, it's pretty simple in Photoshop. You just want to cut out uh, the original image, like the model in this case, the the biker, and then you want to uh, paint the background uh, using the clone stamp tool to make it look invisible. That's all I've got for today. But I hope to see you again for tomorrow for another five minute Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys. See you soon.